Hey there, and welcome to RAN's basic tutorial series. If you need more information about RAN, you can book a demo with our team using the link in the description. You can also create a free RAN account and use the templates below to draw along with me as we go through this tutorial. Let's dive in. This tutorial is going to be all about how to use Rayon's drawing tools. So we're in a Rayon model on what we call a Rayon canvas, and we want to use the drawing tools to maybe create different shapes. Uh, these can be surfaces, walls, blocks, symbols, uh, design details, site maps, uh, really up to you. And you're going to find all these drawing shapes down here in the bottom toolbar. We have polylines, lines, arcs, curves, circles, rectangles, and guidelines, and we're going to demonstrate each one of these shapes. But I want to start off by uh, saying that once you activate any one of these shapes, so activate the command and then start to set it on your canvas, you're going to have a few options in the bottom toolbar you want to notice. You're going to have an active tagline telling you what's the next step you should take to activate the command. In this case, it's set another point or type a distance to draw this polyline. We have our argument, which are the different values like distance or angle. This is suggestions of uh, distance and angles I've placed before in the past, and I can change them. So for example, we might want to do a four meter uh, distance, and we can leave this on 45 maybe, and this will set our pylon in place once we click on enter. Another thing you'll notice here is different um, command modes. So you, we have a line mode and an arc mode. For now, this is on line mode. If we go to arc, you'll see that it will change to arc. The other thing you'll see here is that we have our once or loop modes. So once is very simple, means I want to use this command once. And loop is also pretty simple. It just means that once I've finished placing one polyline on my canvas, I want to be in loop mode and draw more and more polylines or use the same command I've used again and again, rather than reactivating it each time. So just as an example, uh, maybe let's do loop mode. And now I'll place this pylon on my drawing and click on enter. And you'll see that I'm still in the pylon mode. So once I click on the canvas again, it's automatically offering me the ability to draw another polyline. A few more things you're going to want to notice are on the right bar. You'll see here that we have the active layer. This is the layer that my shape was drawn onto by default. Layers is the concept of how we organize our drawings in Rayon. You may know this from other design software as well. You can create and manage your layers from the panel here on the top left, and you can indicate the layer you want to draw onto directly uh, from here as you activate the command. So in this case, it's set on default. I can change it right now to uh, you know any other of these to apply it in a different layer. The other thing that's activated right now is the shapes um, style. So this is the stroke width, color type, uh, it's fill, if this was a, a fill shape. So let me uh, place this drawing here and you see that I've drawn this uh, pink polyline with a gray fill. I can change it from here. Maybe let's change the fill to like blue and we can change the stroke to maybe just black. Let's even make it thicker just for the demonstration. And you can see that it will change directly uh, as I draw. All right, let me exit this command now to exit the loop mode. So I'm going to click on escape. And these were examples of how to use the polyline tool and how to set the different basic commands you need to know. Let's delete these and explore the different uh, shapes here. Now, one thing I also want to mention before moving to the other shape is our shortcuts. So this is applies to the shape tools, but also to other commands in RAM. You're going to find their shortcuts here on the right. And in RAM, we also have a command line. So FYI, you can activate this command line. Uh, we use polyline. Let's say we want to use the line. So I'm just going to type in line and you'll see that it will suggest the line tool. So the line tool is pretty straightforward, very similar to the polyline. Uh, and you'll notice that the last style I used is going to be the default here. So let's change this to something sleeker, just a lightweight wall and no fill. And uh, there you go. Other than the line tool, let's go ahead and activate the arc mode. So starting with the line and then just being able to um, arc this either by entering a radius right here. Uh, you can also add an angle. So maybe let's add as an angle. You'll see uh, this will activate it. Again, let's just do uh, 45 degrees as an example. 
I'm going to click enter to reactivate that command. And now let's show the same with radius. So there you go. And if I type in radius, uh, we can also do 45 for that. That's very slight though, but we can still see it. This is how you can um, place arcs on the canvas. Let's delete these guys and go to the next one which is curve. So this one is what you might use for drawing organic shapes uh, in rayon. I'm just gonna uh, place a few points on my canvas and there you go. Here's my curve. Note that for curves but also for other shapes as well, you can edit them. So if I click on a curve and go ahead to edit, I'm going to get different options uh, of vertices, which I can move around. And if it's a curve, I also get this line where I can play with the angle of uh, my curve to change it. The other thing I can do is add vertices here. So I'll click on this and add a vertice perhaps. And again, I can push and pull and play with this angle, or I can simply, uh, as I showed before, move around existing uh, points on the canvas. All right, next up, on the list is our circle. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I can input the radius right here. Um, let's do one meter. And the same goes with the rectangle. So I'll click on the rectangle and then it will give me the width and height options. Lastly, we've arrived at the uh, guideline tool. So the guideline is great. I personally love it and it will help you set a guide on your drawing. So it's not so much a shape as in a way to structure, uh, you know, your different shapes. So you can use the guideline to uh, indicate, for example, you know, where this line finishes. If I wanted to uh, build a building across the road, I could place that here, grab another drawing tool and use the guidelines to, you know, organize my drawing. When you click on the guideline, I just clicked on G as a shortcut. You can play between its different modes, which is horizontal, vertical, and angle. And once you change between these, you can also place them on the canvas, copy them, or just activate the loop mode to start building your uh, guideline grid very easily. Know that the guidelines will appear on your exporting, so you can actually change their style as well. So if I select this, you'll see that it does have uh, an active style that you can uh, apply to it. One recommendation would be to add a layer called guideline add all your guidelines on that and then hide and not hide that uh, according to your needs. And that's it. This one's pretty straightforward. Hopefully it's going to be easy to you to start using round shapes. There is one thing that's important to note uh, looking at this drawing especially and if you're uh, thinking of drawing walls. Note that Rayon also has alongside its shapes a wall tool. When you draw a wall, you have a wall entity that already has a thickness and a style can be edited um, and more and more. And I invite you to watch our tutorial about walls and zones to see how to use these um, instead of shapes. Uh, it can streamline your work when it comes to drawing wall enclosures. So good luck and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any more questions, you're welcome to book a demo with our team by using the link in the description. You can also join our community and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Have a good one.